Okay, it's officially winter. It is so cold. And then today is the first day that we are doing this type of video. And we're really excited, but we're also really nervous because yeah. we're not 100% sure if we can eat all the food that we're about to eat. <laughs> we have like six meals planned, so we're gonna have to really cram it in. We are doing a food tour here in Belgrade today. And we have 10 items that we're gonna try and they're gonna be all over the city and it's really cold. So we should get some walking in though to burn off some of the food. Yes. So hopefully we can try it all today. If not, we'll just come back tomorrow, whatever. All right, we hope you enjoy this video, guys. Let's get started. thing you should do anytime you land in a new city is familiarize yourself with the bus system or the public transportation immediately. It'll save you a ton of time and a ton of money. It's a little scary though, it's a little bit confusing, but once you figure it out, it'll really help navigate throughout the city. <laughs> yep. Oh my god, we barely made it off that bus. There's a lot of people in there today. to our first stop. This bakery is supposed to be really popular and from here you can already see that there's a massive line. <laughs> right. Okay, so we're at our first stop. It's called Para Chipovica. Wait. <laughs> I think it's called Bukara Chipovic. Wait. I think that's right. <laughs> so honestly, we're probably gonna have a lot of problems today pronouncing everything. The language here is really difficult. I know you guys are probably really tired of seeing us eat this one thing, but we are gonna have it one more time. Burek. Okay, it's pronounced Burek in Serbia. See, this is exactly why I said we were gonna have a hard time pronouncing everything. I just, I can't remember. Burek is stuck in my head and you have to try it in every country because it's different. Oh my God. Um, is that the ham and cheese? Two minutes? Okay, we'll wait. What kind of burek is it? It's a ham and cheese. It just fell apart on me, but as you can see, it's way greasier and juicier here in Serbia. So you can't eat many of these. <laughs> oh, that's hot. <laughs> It's so good though. I mean, there's just grease dripping off my face. <laughs> mm. It's great because it's not the typical cheese that you get in a, a burek, you know? The burek cheese is much different here. It's like a thick cheese that you get in America. Feels a lot more like home. Who will win, Ryan or the burek? It's looking like it's pretty much zero one right now. Roll up my sleeves. <laughs> Wow, that's really, really good. This is actually the only place we've seen ham and cheese burek, so I'm really excited about this. And it's really good. Mm. Look at all the grease glistening off of it. I mean, that's insane. Mm. Ah! What do you think though? How does it stack up to the, the burek that we've had? The burek, how, how much better is it or worse? This is, this is actually probably one of the best bureks I've ever had but it is a lot greasier, just like Ryan said. Oh my gosh. It's hard to really even compare Serbian brek to Albanian or Montenegrin brek. I feel like they're all very different, but I don't know. This one might be the winner, to be honest. <laughs> mm. Meal one destroyed. Okay, the first stop is done. That brek was so good. 
Sadly, I didn't have her Gibby Nitsa though, so we're gonna have to look for another bakery. Yeah. See if we can find one. Apparently, it's like pretty hard to find, I guess, and then when they do make it, it goes really fast. So. Wish us luck. Okay, so we're outside of another bakery right now. We're gonna check and see if they have Gibby Nitsa. So, we're just gonna run in and ask real quick. Hopefully, they have it. So we're done. Uh, do you have Gibonitsa? Uh, Gibonitsa? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> um, yeah, done? We got our Gibonitsa. I didn't think we were going to be able to get it that quick. So, luckily, second try ended up being the right one. Looks like we're going to be eating all of our meals outside today. So, this is <laughs> two out of two. <laughs> and a Gibonitsa, so a Gibonitsa is just like layered dough. You can see it here. It's like layered dough with like egg and uh, cheese and I don't know, other dairy, I guess. But apparently it's like really good. Uh, a lot of people eat it in home. I think it's kind of like a home snack, so I'm kind of surprised we found it. All right, so it looks like it's got some sesame seeds on the top, but I really don't know what's inside here actually, so. <laughs> is it good? It looks kind of plain. It's actually pretty good. It's like burrick, to be honest. I think the burrick is better though. The burrick's also a lot greasier, so that could have something to do with it. What do you think? It is a lot like a cheese burrick, to be honest. But not quite as good. Um, Definitely more healthy, for sure, but it's okay. I like it. But it's not the best thing that we've tried. No, no. Mm -mm. But for 160 dinar, it's definitely worth it. You know, you could walk around, you could eat probably the whole day for one person. It probably costs you like eight to 10 bucks if you really want to. His head bobbing, look at him. What are we having next? I don't know, it's uh, some sort of schnitzel or something like that. Or maybe some brandy. Maybe whatever comes by first. So we're at a restaurant called Zabichai Skaterlia. And it's a traditional Serbian restaurant in the Skaterlia district. Oh my gosh, <laughs> thank you. Okay, so first up, we have the Karadzicheva Schnitzla, which the, it's nicknamed the Maiden's Dream for its size and shape. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh, that's aggressively suggestive. Don't ruin the meal. What is in it? Oh, it's leaking everywhere. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so the Schnitzla is like a like breaded pork or veal with kaimak inside. The kaimak is like a, the fatty portion of but, butter. It's like boiled and then you take all the fat together and they make it into like a, almost like a cream. It looks incredibly caloric and very juicy, so. Oh my God. Oh my God. I feel like this is one of the things we were most excited to try, so. I think it's all right. It's just kind of like rolled up ham. It's breaded though. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I'm in love with it, to be honest. I don't think I'm really all that in love with it. It's definitely one of the weirder foods we've tried. I mean, it's not like super exotic or anything. I think just like the shape and how it's put together is pretty weird. I mean, it smells really good. Hmm. Like the flavor is good, but it's not my favorite thing. I think all the juice kind of ran out onto the plate, so now it almost seems like a little dry on the inside. But I'm gonna give it a second bite anyway. I like it, but I wouldn't want to eat the whole thing. I feel like the serving size is just way too big. I think maybe like a quarter of it is probably about what I would want to order. <laughs> Ryan has moved over there because the lighting, unfortunately, isn't great, so just bear with us. It's really bad. <laughs> it's 
so sorry if it's not coming out perfect, but what are we trying next? This is the pribanets, something like that. It's baked beans, essentially, um, with like some pork and some other stuff in it. It looks pretty good. Oh my god, it's Still hot. hot. Oh no. Oh my god. Well, that's really good though. Oh, it was a bay leaf. Drop the bay leaves. Alright, the beans are ridiculously good. They're really, really good. Okay, so for those of you who don't know this, <laughs> beans is actually one of my favorite foods. Go ahead and you can make fun of me all you want, but it's true. So these are definitely not like American baked beans because I really actually don't like American baked beans too much even though I just said that beans is one of my favorite foods. I think they're a little too sweet for me, but these are perfect. They're really savory. Mm. I'd say it's a hit. It's, oh, it's a really, really good. It's like a huge block. Not the most appealing thing. So this is called Sarma, if I could even get an actual bite of it. Mm. This is so good. What we're eating is rice, vegetables, spices, meat, all rolled up inside of a pickled cabbage leaf. I know it may not sound super appetizing either, <laughs> especially for people who aren't big fans of cabbage, but this is actually really, really good. I mean, there is so much flavor in it. That is really, really good. It's, it's a lot like, uh, there's a Russian food called Galutsi. It's a lot like that. It's almost the same thing. Um, can't imagine all this being all that healthy for you. Uh, I feel like the, the Serbian diet's very, you have to do a lot of cardio if you don't want to get fat. <laughs> a lot of walking. A lot. <laughs> All right, well, food was good. I'd say two out of three here. Sarma was great. Beans were great. Really, really good. I don't know how we're gonna make it today. Okay, so that meal was really good, except for the maiden's dream. We weren't totally sold on that, but for all three items, it was 2,700 Serbian dinar, and now we're about to go find our next item on the list, Travapi. Hopefully we got room. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know if I can handle it. <laughs> we just arrived at the next restaurant and it's called, you just took away the menu. <laughs> I was trying to see what it was called. Chebab Janitsa. <laughs> yeah, that, it's called Chebab Janitsa and we just ordered the chivap chichi, which is kind of like trafta inside of a flatbread, right? Yeah, it's like a half bread with onion, kaimak, chivap, Well, I guess once it gets here, you'll be able to see it, so. When you order something that's large or small in the U.S., it's either large or small. You have no idea what that even means. But here, they'll tell you, right here. It says 200 grams, 100 grams, Tells you the exact weight of everything you're eating, so you don't end up ordering something that's way too much. 200 grams a lot. I think 200 grams is a lot. <laughs> I think 200 grams is a lot. So, so. we're screwed, basically. <laughs> yeah, you might have to drop off the leftovers. Yeah, maybe we will. This is our chibab chichi. What kind of meat is it, babe? Apparently, it's a combination between lamb, beef, and pork. Veal. 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 Lamb, beef, and veal. I'm really excited. Okay. I was full, but I think I'm hungry <laughs> after seeing this come out, to be honest. All right, let's dig in. It looks really good. I don't know how many pieces to put in here. Two, three? I guess whatever you can handle. <laughs> I'll do three. All right, here we go. Mm. Wow. Okay, that pita is so fresh. Mm. That little bit of like spice in there really makes the flavor of the meat just pop. So it's so good. First bite. Jesus. 
You think you haven't eaten anything at all today. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. It's definitely laminar, you can taste that. And the onion with the spice and the slaw gives it like a good crunch. With like all the softness of the brand new, like fresh made pita. It's really good. Yeah, this is the reason this was like one of the highly most highly recommended foods to get when we're in Serbia. Um, and it's because it's just done right. You know, you can get it at street food, you can get it in a restaurant. Um, if you're going street food, always make sure that there's a bunch of people like waiting in line, that it's not just like an empty street food stand. Otherwise, you're probably gonna get someone to cook food or something. Okay. <laughs> We literally just crushed that. I don't know how, but it was so good. It was too good to stop. I mean, I don't care if I'm full or not, it was so good. That's one of the best things I think I've ever had, honestly. Yeah, I think this is my favorite Serbian food so far. It was 436 dinar for the large chivapcici, and it came with 10 little chavtas. Um, little fingers, chivap. Yes. It's, if it's one, it's chivap. If it's multiple, it's chivapi. So. And this place is super close to the Skaterlia district, so you can come find it if you're in the area. On to the next place. <laughs> Time to get a couple snacks. I think we're gonna have to take the bus. Well, right now we're gonna walk. This is gonna be our longest walk so far, which is good because we've eaten a tremendous amount today. And it's a far walk. I'm feeling kind of tired. <laughs> I'm ready for a nap at this point. It's probably going to take us about 30 minutes to get there, so you have to wake up. Okay, so we just arrived at M Bar, and it's a restaurant that's right on the Danube River. So you have a beautiful view of all these like different squabs, which are these like nightclubs on the river. And it's a really nice restaurant. And apparently they have another location in Washington, DC, of all places. But we're gonna get a couple snacks here and some coffee to try. He's very focused on the menu. Who says this thing? Are you kidding? Oh, there's an English side. <laughs> Alright, that helps. You'll be surprised to know that this is actually our first coffee of the day. Honestly, I'm surprised I haven't bitten Ryan's head off yet. Okay, so we have the Ivar. We have the Kaimak with strawberries and insane looking homemade bread. So Ivar is essentially just smashed sweet bell peppers and eggplant. Um, there's a couple different versions of it, but most of it is gonna, gonna have exactly that. And it's a nice sweet relish that you put on bread or sandwich, whatever it is you want. Um, it's super, super popular in this region. You can actually also find Ivar at the store. So you can just pick it up for yourself and have it at home if you don't have the time to make it. Maybe I should use like a knife. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should use a or knife something. or something. I don't know. Good flavor. That looks really good. Mm. Tastes exactly like what it is. Sweet bell pepper and eggplant. It's actually really good. Really salty and sweet. Any condiment that you use, you could replace it with this. I'm a little bit concerned about whether it's going to be sweet or not. But we'll do a little bit. That's barely any, but... It's so rich and creamy, it just like melts in your mouth. It tastes a little bit like cream cheese, but it definitely doesn't have the same like texture, consistency. It's good. What's I don't better? know if I would eat it every day, but. Okay, so Ibar's better then. I would definitely eat the Ibar every day, yeah. But the Kymac, every once in a while. Bye. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Have a great day. We're gonna get some dessert, some ice cream, <laughs> maybe some cookies. Probably both. Really pig out. Cheesecake. 
cake with blueberries, the milky pear with walnut cookies. Uh, banana, lemon, and honey, and the uh, creme bueno. So we got our ice cream in the winter time. And the reason we chose to come to an ice cream place is because there seems to be a lot of ice cream shops around Belgrade. We went to an ice cream place called Cerna Ovcha. I'm probably pronouncing that completely wrong, but it means black sheep in Serbian. Okay, so we each got two flavors to try. And this first one is milky pear with walnut cookies. I've never had pear ice cream before. It really comes through. It tastes exactly like you're eating a pear. Just like creamier. This side is a cheesecake with blueberries. Wow, I really like that one. All right, you're gonna have to let me try that one. That one was really good. It's all mine. I'm gonna try yours too. What? <laughs> These are both for me. No. <laughs> you wanna try yours before it melts? Yeah. We're about to have a catastrophe here. So this side is. Yeah. Banana, lemon, and honey, which is interesting. I've never heard of a uh, ice cream being like that. Oh my god, I just got ice cream all over my pants. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm honestly so upset right now. I mean, honestly, that's kind of a trend. I've a seen... trend? People with ice cream on their pants is a trend. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that'll work for now. Whatever. Back to it. Oh, it's really good. It's very sour though. It's like a sour banana. This one is called creme bueno and I'm assuming that it's like a Kinder Bueno bar, but in ice cream form. That's what I'm hoping at least. You can barely tell the difference between the two flavors. I know, yeah. Not a Kinder Bueno bar, it doesn't taste like that. I don't know, it's freaking good though. Getting a little bit messy out here. I literally can't take you anywhere. <laughs> this isn't You're my fault You're literally though. spilling some on the ground. This isn't my fault. My pants are ruined. <laughs> I have ice cream all over me. And it's like a long walk home. It looked like I had an accident on my pants. It's okay though. All right, we're gonna finish up our ice cream so we can get the next dessert. Okay, after just sitting there and being looked at by dozens of people. Lots of strangers staring at us like weirdos. Watching us film ourselves eat ice cream. Yeah. We're gonna go get some more food. Back All to right. the... Uh, Square. Hello. How much are these? 250. 250? Yes. Okay, I'll do one of these ones then. Yes. Is it okay? Yeah. Yeah, just that one. Okay, thank you, Bella. All right, so we got, what are these called again? I don't remember. Meat sitter, something like that. But anyways, it's like a little cookie that you're supposed to buy for like your girlfriend or your crush or something like that and give it to them to show your affection, is what it says online. Kind of small, I know. I love you more than this cookie says, but it was 200. It's kind of expensive, you know. And I think you can wear it like, if you got a really small neck, I think you can wear it around your neck. So apparently, from what I've read online, is that these aren't like, super tasty. But it's not about the flavor, it's just about the gesture, as Ryan was explaining earlier. But we're gonna give it a try anyway. <laughs> we got this at one of the Christmas market stands in the center of Belgrade. I almost feel like you aren't supposed to eat it because of how wrapped it is. Yeah, no joke. And it also, it looks like it's as hard as a hockey puck. <laughs> it looks so dry. I feel like I'm not even sure you can count this as like part of the food tour, but. Well, you know, it is what it is. Right. I'm, I'm kind of nervous to taste it. It looks pretty, but not all that good. Don't break your teeth off. No? <laughs> it sounds a bit crunchy. I feel like the Serbians watching this are gonna laugh at us for even attempting to try these, to be honest. I think they're gonna be like, you should've just hung it on your tree. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> it being an ornament really is sounding more and more accurate. Figured we'd get one just for the experience anyway. <laughs> all right, let me try it. Take a small bite, it's not good. <laughs> oh my God. Do you think it's even made with food? I mean, I don't know, honestly, this, this could be sand. I don't know <laughs> what this is. It is not good. That is not good. Um, obviously we did it wrong, okay? <laughs> this is obviously not supposed to be food. We're stupid. <laughs> All right, so this 
concludes our Belgrade food tour. <laughs> kind of ending on a weird note, but we got nine out of 10 things we wanted to try. Yeah, what was the we, thing we missed? We, we missed Schwarzi, which is like a pork rind type of thing, but we added Ivar. So all in all, still had 10 things. Cookie sucked. That was definitely <laughs> a dud. But um, honestly, for our first food tour ever, I think we did all right. Uh, drop in the comments below what you'd rather see in a food tour. Things we did good, things we messed up on. Yeah, uh, everything's kind of a work in progress, so. Let us know what we missed. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Support us now. These pigeons want Argy Benita. They've been hanging around. Just head bobbing. <laughs>